So hey everybody, my name is Sean. I'm with GotSprouts.com and today I'm going to tell you about the Easy Sprouter. And I really enjoy this. I have uh, six of them at home. I use three that are in the refrigerator and three that are sprouting the whole time so I can keep rotating them. But I'm going to show you how to use this. The reason why I like the Easy Sprouter is number one, it's easy. Simply get the box, turn it around the back, and it shows you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. The very first thing when you get your Easy Sprouter, you can take it out of the box and actually clean it really good. I, you can use a drop of bleach and some warm water or some soap and water and just rinse it out really good. And you want to you go over it really well to clean it very well. Um, after you use the sprouter, very important, how you clean your equipment is very important as well. I like to use food grade um, hydrogen peroxide. So I'll take a little bit of that, spritz it in there, go over it with a, either a sponge or a cloth, kind of go over it really well, rinse it out really good. Sometimes I'll take in hot water and soak it for a little bit before I do that because it really gets into the, into the nooks and crannies that way. So a good way to clean your Easy Sprouter when you're done. These are all the different parts here for you. It's really simple device and I actually love the idea of this. It's got a, a basically a solid pitcher that has no holes in it and a pitcher that has holes in it. The pitcher that has holes in it, you basically slide inside the pitcher that has no holes and that's what you're going to be sprouting in. It's very simple. They also have a little measuring cup here which you can actually measure your seeds in there for you and it also has holes in it so you can actually rinse them out as well and put them in there like that. And then also for the smaller seeds like the alfalfa, the broccoli, the radish and clover, what you want to do is take this little insert and this is what I usually do when I first get this sprouter. I'll take the little insert and I'll simply pop it in the bottom of it and I'll totally forget about it. Just pop that in the bottom and forget about it. You're going to slide that in there like that. Um, we're going to do the bean mix in there, which is one of the easiest things to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, with the bean mix, they're one to three. So every one sprout you put in there, every one seed you put in, you'll get three times as much. So you only want to fill up the easy sprouter cup third of the way. So we'll take that. The other thing I like about the easy sprouter too is because with this cup, you can rinse them out really good. So before you even soak your seeds, Rinse them out really good underneath the sink and spin them around like this so it really gets some good agitation and it cleans the seed. Most organic seeds are sprouted with, or excuse me, are stored with diatomaceous earth and um, that keeps the pests away. So it's really good that you rinse your seeds before you sprout. Very important. Okay. So take that, drop that into the bucket that has no holes in on the bottom here like this. You're going to fill this up with water. Again, what I like to do, because the Izuki bean is really hard, I like to soak that for 24 hours. So I'll do this first thing in the morning. Fill it up with water, go on your merry way. The next morning, I'm gonna lift this up, rinse all the water out of it. And the really cool thing about the Easy Sprouter is it creates like natural confection. You see how that sits up like this? What that does is it creates natural airflow. So the air flows through it underneath and all the way through, almost like a chimney. So it really sprouts very quickly. I like to say that this sprouts probably quicker, about a day quicker than mason jars. So it's really easy because you get a lot more airflow with the Easy Sprouter. And so you're gonna sit there like that, rinse it out really good, let it sit up out like this. Got a little top ledge right there that you're gonna sit this up on top, just like this. Let it sit throughout the day. When you come home from work that afternoon, lift this up, rinse it out really good again and let it sit like this overnight. The next morning you're gonna wake up and you're gonna have these amazing little sprouts right here. And again, bee mix is amazing. You can use that for pâtés. You can make hummus with this. You can add any spices you want to, any flavor you want to. You can also blend them up. You can put them in juices. It makes your juice creamy. So it's really a great source of protein, great snack food. Um, when I wanted to get off potato chips, I go with the bean mix. That's the first thing I grab. So a really good way to do this, okay? So as soon as those sprout, the cool thing with the Easy Sprouter too is once they get the little tails on them, drop it down like that and it comes with two lids. One that has no holes, one that has holes. Just put the ones with the holes on top, put it in the refrigerator and you've got food for the entire week. So again, at home I got, I got three of these in the refrigerator and three that are sprouting outside the refrigerator. So you're always rotating. You're always getting fresh sprouts in and out. So a great way to do it is using the Easy Sprouter. One other thing, very important, it comes with a great instruction booklet when you get it. Very first thing I like to do when I get the instruction booklet is go to the last page. It has all the soaking and all the rinsing times for all the different sprouts you can do this. 
I want to say there's about 22 different varieties of sprouts you can do in this. So it's a really, really easy. And they did a great job as far as setting this up. So try the easy sprouter. Amazing stuff. Happy sprouting, guys.